Hello Drum School Drummer Friends, it's Alan here, hope everybody's keeping well. Welcome to part one of a two part video uh, series on using dotted notes. Uh, the little pattern that I played at the start uh, used what we affectionately refer to as uh, a 16th uh, skip note or a semi quaver skip note on the snare drum, but it's accompanied by a dotted quaver. All right, so we need to know how to work with dotted quavers. We also need to know how to work with dotted crotchets, dotted men, you know, all the notes, what it is if we stick a dot in front of a note. So we're going to find that out in a minute. Uh, and, uh, and then how they can help us to play uh, and understand some of those grooves. So without further ado, we're just going to get stuck in. Brief introduction to dotted notes. Here we go. All right, so basically, if we stick a dot in front of a note, it increases its value by a half. Uh, and the examples on the screen, we've got a minim, a crotchet, uh, and then uh, a quaver, okay? So a minim is normally worth the equivalent of two crotchets. Stick a dot in front of it, it's now worth three. Uh, a crotchet is worth the equivalent of two quavers. Stick a dot in front of it, it's now worth the equivalent of three. Uh, a quaver is worth the equivalent of two semi-quavers. Stick a dot in front of it, it's now worth the equivalent of three. But one of the issues that I find with students is, for drummers, uh, is I've got to say to them, like, you've got to think like a musician. Because as soon as I talk about, you know, lengthening a note, making a note longer, they scratch their heads and they think, what, what's all this about? Because, you know, that could be a crotchet, that could be a queer, that could be a semi queer. It's just the a, a sound, isn't it? Different if you were learning to play the trumpet and you could play long notes. Or you can play short notes. Bop. <laughs> All right, it's a wee bit different. Yes, we've got to count, but it helps if we start think like a musician. All right? As far as I'm concerned, drummers are musicians, but sometimes we disengage that part, and we're always just thinking about hits in the drum and, uh, and patterns, rather than realizing that they're all based on music. All right? So let's use that uh, to help us to play uh, these patterns. All right, so the specific one that we're going to be looking at is the dotted quaver semi-quaver, which is what I was playing uh, in that rhythm in the intro. And that's where we got uh, what we affectionately refer to as our 16th or our semi-quaver skip note on the snare drum. If I had a whole bar uh, on the snare drum of uh, dotted quaver semi-quaver, uh, notes that would sound like this here, 4-4 four, four bar. One. All right, do that again. At about that tempo there. All right, one, okay. So how do we count them? All right, so you should know, uh, player level students, how to count your semi-quavers, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So it's almost like in this example that the middle two notes are kind of falling silent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count one E and A. Ah. So it's the one and the ah, and then two e and ah, and then three e and ah, all right, four e and ah, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So, but we're not playing uh, a whole bar uh, of rhythm, but at least now you'll know how to do that. If you're playing a snare drum piece and you see a pattern like that or you see a drum fill, you'll, not, you'll now know uh, how to count that and then play it. What we're doing is we're uh, using this to play this rhythm. Okay, so we're going to get into uh, playing the rhythm again. Uh, so just remember that we're going to count our, whenever we get to beat two, because we're playing the snare drum on beat two, we're going to count two, e, and, ah. All right, two, e, and, ah. That's the skip note. That's the semi-quaver. Uh, that's a sixteenth. Now, player level students, that's the easy part in one sense to understand how to count it. It's whenever we come to add it in to the pattern that, again, some of my students start to get a little bit confused because just remember, if we're playing that pattern... What value notes are we playing on the hi-hat? We're playing eighth notes or quavers, aren't we? One and two and three and four and. But I've just told you that that skip note is a semi-quaver. Oh, right, okay. So we don't play it. It's not played at the same time as the quaver on the hi-hat. It's going to be played in a, after it, isn't it? 
So let's just count that out. We're going to do it real slow. One, two, and a. Okay? One, two, and a. So it's on the a. One, two, and a. Three, and four. One, two, a. All right. Sometimes it helps just to play the hi-hat on its own and count. One. Sorry, the hi-hat, the snare drum. One. One, two, uh, one, two, and a, one, two, and a, four. Then the other thing we can do that'll help us leave out the hi hat and get the count again. One, two, and a, four. One, two, a, three, and four. One, two, and a, three, and four. One, two, a, three, and four. Now, to be honest, there's no quick fix uh, with this pattern. You've got to stick with it. You've got to kind of really think what you're uh, doing. Uh, it pulls on the interdependence between your hands and your feet, especially uh, your two hands, and especially if you haven't tried anything like this before, which most of my students at this stage haven't, to be honest, uh, at the start of grade two, maybe towards the end of grade one. Uh, occasionally a student will say to me, oh, I heard this pattern and they'll have a go, you know, but sometimes we've got to tidy it up a little bit. Uh, so count it out, take your time, work on the hands. One, two, and a, four. One, two, and a, four. And then one, two, and a, four. One, two, and a. Then add in the hi-hat. Do it slowly. And you'll get there. All right? Take your time. Work at it. You'll get there. Okay, drum skill drummer friends. Hope you enjoyed working through that brief introduction on dotted notes as well as uh, working on that uh, skip note pattern, semi-quaver skip note pattern uh, that we just played. Really important if you want to be able to play some funk grooves later on and develop that. All right? But as I say, this is just the start uh, in and around grade two. I also said that this was part one of a part two uh, video set. Part two coming up, uh, you can go straight to it in the link. But what I'm going to say is, uh, if you've just started grade two, all right, and you uh, were working on this and you got it okay and you think, yeah, I'll give uh, the next part a go, be my guest. But just remember, it's a wee bit more tricky and you'll see why, because we're moving uh, that semi quaver onto the bass drum. Okay? It's just a wee bit more tricky on the interdependence between your hands and your feet, but be my guest. All right, so hopefully you did like that. If you did, I'd be grateful for a thumbs up uh, on uh, YouTube. And uh, also, uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Okay? Bye. Drummers, it's Alan here, and welcome to the Belfast Drum Channel.